More than 3,000 nurses at six Oregon hospitals will not be at work tomorrow. They're going on strike for three days because the nurses union and Providence leadership could not come to an agreement on a new contract. The main sticking points, wages and staffing levels. Good evening. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. I'm Deborah Knapp. There are eight Providence hospitals in Oregon. The Portland and Seaside locations went on strike last year. K2's Emily Gersh joins us live from Providence St. Vincent after speaking to both sides. Emily, what can patients expect during the strike? Yeah, Deb, well, Providence administrators say that replacement nurses have already been called in to ensure there is no disruption to service. Meanwhile, nurses in the union hope this three-day strike will result in better quality of care. On June 7th, the Oregon Nurses Association and Providence reached a standstill in a nine-month bargaining battle over new contracts. Nurses say they want better wages and benefits and staffing levels that ensure patient safety. Our patients are our world. I've been a nurse for over 21 years. Um, we want our patients to have the best, and that's part of what this is about, is being able to have proper staffing to care for those people. Chief Nursing Officer Jennifer Gentry says Providence is abiding by a state law that mandates certain staffing levels that took effect June 1st. She also says the average nurse at Providence makes $100,000 a year. Would you say that Providence is doing the best to its ability to provide the most competitive wages and staffing levels it's able to in this current economic climate? I do. I do believe so. You know, I, I, we offered on the table an average, so across six hospitals, as I said, an average of a 10% increase in the first year alone. And then over three years, it's a, an average of about 18%. And that really keeps our nurses competitive with the market. You know, the average... And the nurses plan to strike from 6 a.m. Tuesday to 6 a.m. Friday. Again, each of these six hospitals will remain open for scheduled appointments and emergencies. We're live in Portland tonight. Emily Gersh, K2 News. Emily, thank you.